Hello family, this is Anthony and I am here with the first part of how I make my altered book journals. Um, I learned how to make these by watching Esther Luca. She's here on YouTube. I will link her uh, channel in the description box. But she is where I learned how to do the altered, the altered book and I got a lot of inspiration from her. So the first part of my process is finding the book and then throughout when I put, get in my mind what I want to do a junk journal on like the theme of it I just start collecting items. So this right here this is a huge bin of unicorn themed items. There's also some mermaid themed items in there as well because I will be doing a mermaid junk journal as well so this whole thing is full of items that I purchased that people have sent me that are unicorn unicorn themed that I thought that somehow maybe I can incorporate them into my journal um, bear with me with this video this is really um, new to me for doing a like process type of video from start to finish on something this large of a project so um, yeah I will have to do this in multiple videos because it will take some time um, this unicorn book here I hauled this it was from five below for five dollars is the wisdom of unicorns there's some different things in there that I want to use now when I look at the items that I have some look child more childish than the other so I may do two different journals one that looks more kiddish and one that looks a little bit more mature if you know what I mean um, depending on what I have to work with so first I select my book which this one I thought was nice. I like the colors of it, which I will be, you know, adding paper or fabric to the cover. But this is the thickness of it, so I do have a lot of pages to tear out of it. Um, I did get this book from the Dollar Tree, which the Dollar Tree is a good place to purchase books if you're going to alter them. I mean you're paying a dollar for them. Another good place is the library. They, My library, my local library sells books all the time. They have a little rack out. I mean 50 cents. And they just this past weekend had a large book sale. So I mean you can find books really cheap you know since you're going to you know tear them up and alter them anyway. Um, you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on the books. Uh, what else? You can find them at garage sales, which I have purchased some at garage sales. My favorite books to look for at garage sales are the little golden books. So I did find some not too long ago from, from the garage sale. So anyway, I find my book. And then I get it all prepped, which I'll show you how I do that. Um... And then I look for the paper that I want to put on my pages. So I will be using this paper pad. It's a hot buy paper bat pad from Michaels and it's the Stay Magical. So whatever theme you're planning on uh, making your journal, you find paper to coordinate. So this one has unicorn and mermaid theme in here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have enough paper that's just unicorn to use from out of here so I will have to look for other paper uh, I'll have to go through my loose papers and find even if I just use some solids solid cardstock because um, yeah this is just not going to be enough I already know it because it ends up, I mean, I cover front and back of the pages. And you do need cardstock, not the thin paper, because you want your pages to be sturdy. I mean, you can decorate with paper, but 
I think the uh, cardstock works better when you're putting them on your pages. So that's what I do first. The book and then the paper is I get that all picked out. You know, I've already started cutting out some uh, ephemera, making my own ephemera out of some of the images that are on, you know, throughout the paper pad. So I have this envelope here with mermaid and unicorn ephemera and die cuts. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll show you really quick some of the items that I have in this bin before we start uh, taking the book apart. So I got these napkins and these little plates here from Dollar Tree. The mermaid stuff I'll just set aside, but I had these sticker books. There's this unicorn sticker book that I had got from excuse me, Joann's. Some more of those plates. I went through my washi and put all of my unicorn and mermaid theme washi tape in here. So I will show you what I do use the washi for other than just decorating. Then I have these hot eye tags from Michael's. And I picked these up because I am working on a fairy journal. And I will be making a mermaid journal as well as this unicorn journal. So it has all three of those um, tags in there as far as what I could use them for in my journal. So. that up and these are those nice thick sturdy tags but I do make my own tags as well to include I try to use up some of the uh, book paper that I tear out for embellishments and things this here is a tag it was sent to me in a in happy mail it was a envelope swap so it says BFF and it's all decorated really pretty and unicorn themed, so I may include that in one of my unicorn books. I think I'm going to make one for myself to keep and then a couple to put in the Etsy shop. So also she sent me this cute little unicorn ribbon that will be used. I have these stickers here and I believe she sent these as well in that package. So all the ribbon that she had everything wrapped with will be perfect to use in the journal then she sent everything wrapped up in this beautiful unicorn fabric so I may be covering one of the journals in this probably the one for myself I will use a lot of the items that were sent to me for me I'll use those in my personal journal that's mermaid little cut out that fell out of something I had cut up it says eat glitter for breakfast and this is a little card that came postcard that came in happy mail your sparkle has not gone unnoticed so things like this I'll be using in the unicorn journal and the mermaid then you know I kept a couple of these I picked up extra ones from the Dollar Tree with the little unicorn I can take this off and use it. I can use the words. My junk journals are not, um, they're not primarily made up of just junk, you know, like old receipts and papers and stuff like that. A lot of my items are new items, but I try to incorporate a little junk in it. But I have this paper pad here with these pretty colors. I can use these. For mats and things into the book. I got this origami craft art. It's a unicorn themed origami kit from Dollar Tree that I have not put together. What else I have? Sticky notes with the unicorn on it. 
I have this coloring and paint set with the unicorn more napkins and this one here I picked up at Walmart I think these luncheon napkins I like to decoupage napkins on the pockets that I make into the journal so um, that's why I always include napkins now this here is just a unicorn headband I don't know what I, I just threw it in there I don't know if I'll be able to use that on the journal anywhere these stickers here from the Dollar Tree this is just a can hugger don't know what I'm doing but like I said I just throw all the unicorn theme stuff in there these were some little mini clothespins with the unicorns and the twine sure I can incorporate that somehow and it says I have note cards that's like glittered note cards there's pink and the mint green this is for mermaid one but then I have these cards magic is all around us oh there's tons of stuff in here God. this little unicorn uh, list pad I mean I save everything I can't remember I cut this off of something out of something I don't know if it was this I don't know what that was off of but it's a unicorn that I can color in these I picked up around Valentine's uh, last year Valentine's Day these are uh, little unicorn embellished cards some other little things that people sent me now this I think I cut out of a cereal box off of those yes those uh, unicorn cereal see and I saved that and this is what's your unicorn's name it's just a little thing that I cut off the side of the cereal box I just was saving everything that I can find this I thought that was pretty to include in the journal it has those colors um, this little little box I got in Happy Mail it's a little Valentine's box more unicorn stickers I have tons of stickers this was a little birthday box that I found and we were just where was it? we went to the Dells for my birthday and it was on the ground and I picked it up and kept it I was like I can cut these little unicorns out these are just some journaling cards. I thought some fun colors that I can use in the journal. More stickers. Another package of those. These are some die cuts of unicorns that was sent to me in friend mail. There's a rainbow pin. These just came off of the little uh, seashell lip glosses from Dollar Tree. I saved those for the mermaid book. That's my mermaid stamp. This is a list pad with the unicorn down there in the corner. There's the mermaid one. Wow, I didn't realize I had this much stuff. These are some little, what are they called? Stick pins. And one has a unicorn, and I think the other one is a, a little princess. But there's a little unicorn there. Some more stickers. I know this is taking up a lot of time just to show you the uh, items I've collected. But I will get this done. I want you to have some ideas of things to look for when you're planning to make a junk journal so tons of stickers there's another card look at those pretty stickers I got those from Hobby Lobby the pastel colors so I'm thinking of making one with the pastel colors for um, a more of grown-up looking journal and then like the bright bright colors one you know that's a little more childish but these are the wall stickers from Dollar Tree this will look great on a cover 
and then you can add some 3D effects. This is from a gift bag from Dollar Tree that I cut up and I had added the little bling stickers on there. I did frame one of these and it's hanging in my daughter's bedroom. Another one of those little Valentine's boxes. Here's a journaling card with the unicorn. It says always believe. And then I had picked these up also at Valentine's. They're little unicorn erasers with the unicorn or with the rainbow like Valentine's card. And I can make like a dangle with the erasers with charm. More stickers. These are the shaker ones from Dollar Tree. Tons and tons of stickers. So I don't need to go through all of the stickers. Remember these? Remember these from Dollar Tree, the little unicorn keychains? I got a couple of those in there. I have, whoops, my unicorn stamp. That's a mermaid stamp. I have these. I thought those would be fun. There's another unicorn stamp. And these are some little um, die cut shapes of the unicorn. I got those from Michaels. More stamps. more little foam unicorn die cuts or stickers. I have unicorn straws, the unicorn magnet, a couple of those. Yeah, just, and there's some more little die cut items down in there. So all of that are items that I have to play with in this journal. So I just wanted to give you an idea about that. I'll be right back with um, with the book. 